It's me, Mikey Pipes. Just wanna make a quick video on a couple common things to look for on your central air conditioning outdoor condenser. Maybe informative, maybe a little educational. Hopefully you enjoy it. If you do, I really appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up and uh, take uh, give it some consideration to subscribe as well to support the channel. Much appreciated. All right, let's get going. You ain't testing, you're guessing. If you ain't testing, you're guessing. And that is the facts. Those are facts. Check this out. There's a Rude. That's 60, that's 60,000 BTUs, five tons. R22 system, manufactured in May 2004. And it's been a while since we've been here. It's been a while, look at that. That's my old number, I still got this number though, but out with the old and in with the new. Okay, for those of you that do not know, this rectangular looking thing is called an air conditioning condenser, all right? It has several components and it's very easy. That black thing right there, this Copeland scroll, right? It's called a compressor, right? She compresses the refrigerant. This car radio looking thing, right? Which wraps around the entire unit. That's called your condensing coil. This thing right here, that's called a contactor. This is 110 volts. This is 110 volts. This is 24 volts. 24 volts comes in from the thermostat, closes this contact right there and sends L1, L2 to T1, T2. Turning on the compressor and your condensing fan motor. Okay. One other component, this, this right here. This is called a dual capacitor. And as you can see, it's rated 70 plus five. This is a 75, 370 dual capacitor. And they're very easy to test. First, you're gonna notice that terminals have two, three, and four terminals. This is fan, it generally only has two terminals. This is HERM, which stands for hermetically sealed compressor. It generally has three. And this is C, or common. It generally has four. And to test this, because if you ain't testing, you're guessing, you need a multimeter. And it has to have that little symbol right there. See that? Okay. I'm gonna take one-handedly these two probes, and it doesn't matter what order they go in, and one is gonna go on C. So we're gonna take common, and to Herm and see what we get. Common to Herm. It's supposed to be 70. Oh, wait, I had to jump in the pool. So that's 75 capacitor actually read 54 4.8 time for a new dual capacitor all right there's a new dual capacitor in this particular case purple is on herm which is hermetically sealed compressor brown is going to fan and my two orange wires are going to c good tip is to before you take off the wiring and just mark with a sharpie or take a picture of which wire went to what terminal Alternatively, you can always look at the wine schematic. And if you see right there in the dead center of the screen, that is the dual capacitor. You see Herm, the top, has the PR, purple wire. Com has those two, has an O wire on it, right? And the other O wire, two wires. And Fan has that brown wire. Some people get intimidated by this, but you know, once you get, understand the graphs, the, you know, the basic concept of it, it's really not that difficult. All right, one other thing to check is, we wanna check amperage. And to test amperage, I'm gonna use a clamp-on uh, Fluke multimeter. This is the Fluke 323. And again, my apologies for the background noise, but we're gonna check the three lines of power going to this unit, All right? This is coming from our dual capacitor, that purple wire, the black, coming from 
our contactor, which is our T1 or T2, and the red is also coming from our contactor, the opposite T1 or T2. One of the things to keep in mind is that the purple wire, which is here, which is going to our capacitor, that goes to the S terminal at the compressor. Behind this left, this cover, we have three terminals. We have C, which is common, we have R, which is run, and we have S, which is start. The purple wire is going to the start terminal on this compressor. And if you, and if you want to be entertained or educated a little bit, there we have, this is your compressor. C is common, R, run, S, start. And we follow the S wire, you'll see don't worry about that for right now, because you may have a an SR, right? Start relay. SR. Hard to see, but SR is start relay. Right? But that purple wire goes to Herm on your dual capacitor. T1 is going to C, and it may be black or red, it's probably black. And then the R, the run, is T2, what they label here. L3, but it's L1. I'm sorry, L1, L2. All right, for educational purposes here, you can see we have terminals. These are screw terminals. So right there, that's common. That's T1, this black wire. R, right down there, the red wire, is T3. Well, it should be T2, whatever. And then that purple wire, that's going on S to start. And sometimes these connections... You know, wires melt off, burn off, terminals get destroyed. They do make terminal repair kits um, for the those little nipples that come out of it. The screw ones you may not have good luck with if that ever turns out to be the case. And last but not least, again, I'm just making a quick um, educational video on the vital components of your central air conditioning outdoor condenser. But last but not least is the disconnect. Let's focus in the, on this a little See that? See, it's a little charred there. No bueno. No bueno. Not good. If you have something like this going on, you should call your HVAC professional and have them take a look at it. This is not good. All right, so let's just take that meter reading. We got 20, almost 24 amps on L1. I have 21 amps on that L or T1 or T3 and the purple wire I got 10 let's check that again it may change almost 24 almost 22 and 10 let's see what this is rated for so here is our rating plate and as you can see we have the maximum fuse or circuit breaker size is 60, and the minimum fuse or circuit breaker size is 45. So we're definitely within range of that, so we're good. All right, just a couple basic tips on basic troubleshooting for an outdoor air conditioning condenser. I always check the capacitors, if it's a dual or a single or two singles, I always check the resistance on the contactor. I always check to see if there's oil or oil residue underneath the condensing fan motor. And of course, I always clean out with the blower any kind of debris, bugs, cobwebs in the electrical compartment. You know, I take my gloved hand and I clean out the bottom of the condenser, uh, the condensing unit. You know, don't let mulch grow in there. And let the customer know what you've done along the way to build value. You know, they want to see and hear generally what they're paying you for. Explain to them the benefits of preventative maintenance. Explain to them the benefits of testing this component, that component. You know, if you don't test the capacitor and it's slightly under value, eventually the compressor and or the condensing fan motor won't run and you can cause irreparable damage to the system. And that's one of the reasons why I stress annual preventative maintenance on central air conditioning. Oh, God damn these flies. Let me get your thoughts and feedback in the comment section down below. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Take a moment. It's free. It supports the channel. And also, 
thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Thank you. God bless. Be well.